Hey guys, so this is my much anticipated Stella and Dot Fall 2013 collection haul video. I am so psyched to share this stuff with you. If you guys have been following me on Instagram or Twitter, I've been tweeting about this for over a week now. The anticipation for the release of this collection has just been crazy. Stella and Dot has just been amping it up so much and I just could not wait to get a peek at the collection and then actually go on and order everything. So my two shipments, I had to make two different orders. Finally, both of them came in, so I have I have a lot of the collection. I'm not going to say I have the entire collection, but I have a lot of the collection. Most of the collection that I have to show you are centered around the statement necklaces, which ama are just amazing. Before I jump in and show you all the amazing jewelry, I just want to quick show you this is what the new fall lookbook looks like. This is what the back looks like, and then it's just filled with beautiful images. I always love this book just to gauge inspiration if I have a piece from here and I just want to know like a different way to wear it or maybe how they're showing it on the model, different colors that they pair different pieces of jewelry with. I always get new ideas from looking in the lookbook. So if you guys are interested, I will put my email below and you can um, send me an email and I'll get one of these in the mail to you. But without further ado, I'm going to show you the collection. Let's just talk about this stunner since I have it on. This is the Frida necklace and this is when I saw the collection images and the lookbook released, I could not wait to get my hands on this piece. It is a stunner. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I saw it in videos on the website and I saw it in pictures on Instagram, but not until I got to see it in person did I really really appreciate the beauty of it. It is, it is just gorgeous. There's no other way for me to describe it. Um, it's done on a hematite chain. Hematite and neon is very untrend for fall this season. It's just such an amazing pairing together. This necklace is just, it, it literally puts the meaning in a pop of color. This necklace just is color. So, Oh, I love it. So I have it paired here with a black tank top. I just have little neon pink studs. I got these from J. Crew a year or two ago. Okay, so here it is up close, and you can just see those green jewels sparkle. It's a lot of neon pink. There's cobalt blue, some coral, and then of course that amazing gem green, and you can just see the sparkle on it. I will say, as much of a statement necklace that this is, it is very, very lightweight, so don't let this image of it think make you think that it's heavier than it is. It's extremely lightweight. You don't even feel like it's on your neck. The back of it is seamless. It lays very flush against your skin. It lays flat. And like I said, it has the hematite chain. It is just beautiful. I want to just let you guys know if you are interested in this piece, I would not hesitate and I would definitely jump on it. They only produce limited quantities of this necklace and it's already on back order and it has the collection hasn't even been out for an entire week yet. So it just goes to show how popular it is. While I'm not surprised, it's obviously a stunner. I wanted to let you guys know that in case you were going to try to wait or want to wait to make a decision on it. I don't think this necklace is going to be around for a lot longer. Um, if it is, it just might, you just might have to wait a little bit while longer for it to come back in stock, but I wanted to at least let you guys know that. So moving on, so I was really excited about these. These are called the Nancy Studs, I believe. Yes, the Nancy Studs. You guys know if you've been following my channel, I'm a big sucker for studs. And these are just that. Very simple, gold encrusted, sparkly studs. I like these better than the glint flower studs. I feel like they're a little bit more grown up. They're classic. They're beautiful and they're so sparkly. They're simple and they're understated yet they pack such a big punch when you put them in. It's almost like you want to wear these like I'm, I've always said I'm a big fan of wearing studs with just a plain t-shirt on those days where you just don't feel like really getting dressed up, but you still want to feel feminine and pretty. I always just pop in my big pearl studs. Just, those are just my kind of go-to studs. But now that I have these, I feel like these are going to kind of take over. Um, because they're a sparkly, crystal clear color, they would go so well with silver and they're enclosed in gold. So you really could wear these with silver or gold. You guys know I'm a huge fan of mixing metals. So I really don't feel like these are off limits at all when it comes to wearing them with different things. So you can just see um, they're just so they're just so simple, but they're just they're very pretty. They're just very pretty pieces. So I really like those. Another necklace this fall, which is called the Somerville necklace, which is basically just 
crystal studs and it's extremely lightweight it has two clasps here that hook I just first wanted to show you how this necklace looks on its own especially paired with the Nancy studs um, this is such an amazing piece I feel like this is a must-have for any jewelry lovers collection I feel like because it has those two clasps you really could add this to any other statement necklace that you have in your collection but on its own I would easily wear this to work one day with just a black blazer and the tank that I have on or I would wear it with a white t-shirt I'd wear it with a denim shirt I would wear this with basically anything prints polka dots graphic tees I think it would be so fun to just pair this with like a beat up graphic tee just to make it a little bit prettier and a little bit more chic. So moving on to the May necklace. This was in all of the sneak peek fall promos. So I was of course had to have my hands on it. It's a beautiful red um, statement necklace and it has little crystals below each one. It has a large extender so you could wear this pretty long if you wanted to. Now you very well could clasp these on as two separate necklaces and you can wear them layered like I have here although because it has the because the Somerville has the two rings that join you can actually attach the Somerville necklace to the May necklace to make it one necklace I find that doing it separately makes it a little bit easier and a little bit less tangly in the back however if you want more of just a one piece of jewelry to like hang or store or whatever you can definitely link all of the necklaces together with the given links that are there but I just wanted to show you kind of how it looks with the Somerville necklace and for me again I would still wear this daytime nighttime whatever time I think it's really pretty and it's a really nice statement now they also released a Christina link necklace and if you are familiar with the Christina link bracelet then you'll know what the necklace looks like it's essentially exactly the same as this one that I'm going to show you this necklace I got from Coldwater Creek and I purposely didn't get the Christina link necklace because I thought that I had the exact dupe of it. This is a little bit heavier, but basically they show the Christina Link necklace paired with the May and with the Somerville, kind of in between, to make it even more of a statement necklace. And I'm just going to put this on so you can kind of see it in a three-tiered layered effect. So like I said, my Link necklace that I have here is a little bit heavier, but just for the sake of showing you guys how it looks paired with the other two, I just wanted to attach it really quick. So, let me just I'll get up a little bit closer. So this is what it looks like with the May and with the Somerville if you were to get the Christina link. I don't really know if I'm going to purchase the Christina because for me, you get the same effect. It's a little bit heavier, but it's still, these two, the May and the Somerville, are so lightweight that it still doesn't feel really heavy on my neck. But I wanted to show you how it looks all with all three of them together. With the Christina Link necklace, you can also attach that to the May and the Somerville to make it one seamless necklace. Or again, you can wear them as three individual necklaces. So it's really fun. It's so versatile to have all three of those because you really can interchange them. So I just took off the May necklace. Another big trend with chains and sparkles. You have this other amazing statement necklace. So I feel like with all three, being that the price points of them are very reasonable, I think it's nice because it makes it accessible to a lot of people to own all three or own two of them or even just own one. But you have the versatility. If you decide to buy all three, you can either wear them individually, wear them paired, or wear them in a triple layered big bang statement necklace. My favorite way is obviously to wear them all three just because I'm very into statements. It's so nice that the May necklace has such a long extender because you can wear this, I'm going to show you, you can wear it really long and then it just makes an even different look. Instead of having them kind of bunched all three together, you could wear the May necklace a little bit longer and have some space in between the other two for a beautiful tiered effect. So I obviously would recommend all three because I feel like this just in and of itself is such a statement and such a showstopper. I would wear this piece to work. I would maybe take the main necklace off and wear the two to a wedding. I'd wear the Somerville maybe just to a, a wedding or an event. But I just love that you have so many options with three simple pieces. And the best part about it is they're all so lightweight so you don't feel like you're you know, adding one necklace and constantly like weighing yourself down with all this extra jewelry. They're so, so lightweight. So I... I love this and then again paired with the Nancy studs they're just tiny they don't get in the way they don't take away from your big necklace party going on here but yet you have a little bit of something in your ear to just kind of 
bring it all together. So I wanted to just quick show you this attached with the gold chain link necklace so that you can kind of just get an idea for how it looks without the Somerville necklace, without the sparkly studs. Um, if you wanted it more for like a daytime, casual, a lot of people sometimes think sparkles and studs equals evening and formal, and it doesn't for me. I would wear that triple necklace daytime to work wherever. But if you wanted something a little bit more daytime casual, you could just pair the state the May necklace with the Christina Link necklace and I just wanted you to kind of see what that would look like. The Link necklace just really gives texture to the necklace and it's really really pretty and then of course with your um, Nancy studs it just I think makes the perfect pairing. I will say that I don't love this necklace on its own. I definitely think that it needs a little help, whether it be the Somerville or the Christina or both. I just feel like this necklace needs a little bit more. The next thing I'm going to show you is the Gilded Arrow ring. And if you guys saw it in the spring collection, they made a Gilded Arrow um, bangle in gold and silver. It is adjustable so you can squeeze it or you can open it a little bit wider if you need it to fit your different fingers. I prefer to wear it just on my middle finger. I've seen a lot of companies do this arrow ring and the arrow bangle. Stella and Dot has this one in silver and gold for $29, which I think is a really nice price point. And I love that it's adjustable so you can kind of, if you know, if you, one day you want to wear it on your pointer finger or your pinky, you can adjust it to however length you need it for. So I really like that. It's simple, but it's very pretty. Okay, next, these are the Twilla drops. These are gorgeous. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of their Serenity Stone drops. I have them in several different colors. And now there's these, and these are just in a clear quartz, and they look the same on both sides, faceted in gold. And I love when they do them um, see-through on both sides and just have a facet surrounding them, because that way, whatever, whatever way your head is turning, or if your hair is in the way, you don't have to worry about the earring not being shown or not being able to see the earring. So I'm just going to slip these in so you can see what they look like on. These are exactly like the Serenity Stones. It's just a different shape. These retail for $49. And the only color the Twilla Drops come in is the clear quartz. But I just thought with my dark hair, I think they um, look really, really pretty. They actually came out with a brand new entire like gemstone collection for fall out of that collection these were the only piece that I got but I just love them even without a necklace I just feel like it's so simple I usually wear like my my dainty little initial necklace would look really pretty with these for something understated these are just beautiful statement earrings that I feel like um, you could dress up or dress down and just kind of throw them in your ears when you're not sure what to wear and the nice thing is they're not heavy at all they're very lightweight and they just have such a beautiful sparkle and the way they're faceted. And the light catches them in the right way. They are just so sparkly and shiny and they're just beautiful. Next up is the Sutton necklace. I had this on in my last video. This is another amazingly versatile piece. This is what it looks like. It's a bunch of chain links. There's mostly silver. There's one chain that's this like brushed um, gold, very light very light brush gold and then of course they tied the sparkle into this necklace again and did it in this fun geometric design so five different ways to wear this necklace you can wear it just like this there's two little hooks like that on each side this is how I had it on in that video just a bunch of fun chains um, I had it on with just a coral shirt. This is such a nice, I feel like, professional piece. If you were wearing a suit or a blazer, I feel like this is a very nice work-appropriate piece. So the other way is to just unclip it, and it turns, and you can actually, you can actually keep the little hanging clasp on. It kind of just blends in with the rest of the chains, or if you prefer to just take it off, you just slip it off the other end. So I'm going to just take it off so it doesn't get mixed in. And you could just wear it as a much longer layered. This is what it looks like longer. And again, really pretty, just draped. You can actually, you can make it even on both sides. You can kind of tilt it to the side and make it uneven. Do it to this side. All right, so the other way you can wear this, it actually has another clasp mixed in here on the crystallized one. And you can detach that one. If you wanted to just wear a bunch of chains, mixed metals, you could do that. And you can just see here it's a little bit, makes it even more of a tiered effect. So again, you can wear it without the bling. And you can also 
do it shorter like I had it before and just rehook it and do it like this. It makes it a little bit lighter and a little bit less blingy, a little bit more toned down and understated. And then you can wear the sparkly part all on its own. And again, this one has two hooks. And here's what it looks like. Now this, I wouldn't wear to work. I feel like this is a little bit more formal than the Somerville necklace just because of all the facets and detail in it. But I feel like for a wedding or an event or a dinner at nighttime or something, this is a really beautiful piece on its own. So that is the Sutton necklace, the necklace that you can wear five different ways. It's the definition of versatility. It's so nice when you're spending a little bit more on a piece of jewelry, but you have so many different options. It's like you buy one necklace, but you technically get five different necklaces for the price of one, which I just love and Stella and Dot does so well. Okay, next up is the Mercury necklace. I love the name. When I first saw this on the website, I thought it was two different chains and the way I was watching, the way the model was wearing them was just overlapping the chains, but they're actually tied together. So they don't move. This is the actual shape of the necklace. You can't kind of like take them off from one another. They're actually tied to one another. This piece is amazing. Again, it's that hematite color with gorgeous cobalt blue. You can just see the beautiful rhinestones as well as this green threading on one side and then the cobalt blue threading on the other and then they accent it with these beautiful rose gold studs. So amazing. I'm going to take these out just so that they're not distracting you. I feel like black will be my most favorite way, most common way for me to pair it with. However, you could easily pair this with green or that cobalt blue crisp color. White, of course, gray. Um, but I just feel like with black, it really pops. Those colors really, really pop. I love the design of it. Stones, these blue stones, I don't know if you can tell. Depending on how the light hits them, they're almost like a duochrome. In some lights, they look um, blue, and then in other lights, they look green, like a fluorescent green green and then you also have the silver chain de detailing in here and then all across the top you just have those clear sparkly crystals running across the top so definitely a beautiful piece depending on again how the light hits the different facets it's an eye catcher for sure and then the last piece that I got to show you came in this big box actually the mercury necklace came in this and so did the Frida big boxes really cute though polka dots and they have a little message on the on the box it says, you look absolutely gorgeous. This is the Kahlo bib necklace. If you are someone that does enjoy wearing mixed metals, this necklace is for you. Oh my God. Now this one is a bit more heavy. I can get it out of this box. This is probably the heaviest piece from this collection. I would say if you own the Femme Fatale necklace, um, it's actually a little bit lighter than that, if not the same weight. So just to kind of help you gauge the different weight, um, this is a beautiful piece. It's again, the backing is hematite and then it has all these beautiful different color stones, crystals, rose gold. There's even some gold, I think, yes, gold. And then like, and there's these silver beads. The back is beautiful as well, um, just the detail, and then it's all flat and flush, so it lays on your neck very comfortably, fun detailing around the neck, long necklace extender. This too will look so good against black. I'm going to just put this on the longest one. Okay, so here we have the Kahlo. Amazing, amazing piece. I love this. I'm so excited. I just... Oh, I love this so much. It's so beautiful. It doesn't feel heavy on. It lays so nicely. It just lays flush with your skin. And I love the little square detailings around the back of the neck. It's just beautiful. Now this is definitely a piece I would wear for work with a black blazer, a black suit. It's a stunner. Um, I would maybe even leave off the earrings. You really don't need them. They also make these beautiful Linda studs that are like this dark charcoal black color. Would look really nice with this necklace. But for me... I think I'd wear them without. You could easily wear just plain sparkle studs. You could wear the Nancy studs. Um, you could wear rose, go rose gold studs. I mean, because it's mixed metals, you literally could wear any earrings that you want. However, you don't need to wear earrings with this necklace. This necklace is amazing on its own. People are going to go directly to your neckline. They're not going to care what's in your ears. So I absolutely love this. I feel like 
it's it's so beautiful. They also did this necklace in gold, which is limited edition, and it's more like jewel tone colors, blues, purples, greens, gorgeous. Like I said, that is limited edition. This one is part of their permanent line. Um, just made. I don't know really what else I could say about this other than it's just... It's a showstopper. It's a stunning piece. So that is everything from the collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If I had to recommend one piece from the entire collection, it would be the Frida necklace. I haven't been this in awe of a necklace or a piece of jewelry in so long. Neon in jewels has been very trendy, but when they throw in these like amazing sparkly green jewels, it just takes it to another level. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to pair it with different things. I have it, like I said, with just a black plain tank top today. I can't wait to put it over a denim like chambray shirt or just a plain white t-shirt. I think it would just pop against anything. I've seen this even against prints, polka dots and different prints and it just, it. I haven't seen it look bad yet and I don't think there's anything it wouldn't go with. Um, it is colorful, it is loud, it is bright, and I am obsessed with it. Obviously, you can tell my excitement about this. I'm just so thrilled. I couldn't be happier to be a stylist with Stella and Dot. The jewelry just never ceases to amaze me, and the quality of it is so good. The return policy is awesome if you're not happy with it. It's no questions asked policy. I will put links to each of the pieces below, my email if you have any other Stella and Dot related questions. So I've had the best time getting to meet all of you guys. I've had several people host online trunk shows. If you guys are interested in that, you can always send me an email and I'll set you up to do that. It's such a fun way to interact with you guys via the internet because I can't be in your living rooms doing a trunk show. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this collection with me. I thank you guys so much for your time and watching this video and for your support. If you have any other questions relating to any of the pieces that I showed you or sell and dot or just any questions in general, just leave them in the description box below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you again. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.